Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, what I have for you guys is a brand new GTA 5 online video. And of course, today we have the brand new GTA 5 online weekly event. And so we are going to be going over all of the biggest and most major changes of this specific week here in GTA Online. We have the weekly challenge to discuss for some extra really nice money you can make. We have some pretty solid money bonuses in this game, some good discounts, some actually very effective discounts, some great removed vehicles we need to check out that are featured back for a limited time only and you do not want to miss out on them some unique gun van opportunities and more in this game we're going to be going over it all one of the removed vehicles you can actually pick up this week is this vehicle behind me right here i will showcase to you guys how much this car costs how you can unlock this suv in the game it's super great for off-roading super excited to talk about it and with that being said welcome back to the channel and let's jump in for this week's weekly challenge here in gta online let's review it's actually going to be pretty sweet this week along with a bunch of other opportunities we need to discuss but just jumping in, if you complete three nightclub management missions this week, you will be rewarded with $100,000 and you'll also unlock the Black SC Ornate T. So we're going to try and do that inside of this video. Another one you could check out that's actually pretty decent is delivering the VIP. You just locate a passed out VIP inside the nightclub, you load them into your limo, you carefully drive them to a hospital or their home or something like that. Another quick mission, a little bit of driving, minimal risk, all that. That's a good one. There's like 20 other ones you could do. You could do ones for Tony. You can do like promotion club missions for Laszlo. There's some for Johan you can do as long as you don't have max popularity. There's a lot of different opportunities right here. So that is basically, you got to do three of those, no matter what nightclub management mission it is, three of them, you'll get $100,000. When I'm editing here, I should have mentioned that in the previous clip, when I talked about throwing people out of the nightclub, those will increase your popularity, but those don't count as nightclub management missions for the weekly challenges. The ones you're going to need to do that count for your weekly challenge progress, for example, are going to be placing posters, dropping flyers, delivering supplies, recovering supplies, smashing up developer V vehicles, playing music from a blimp, destroying rival supplies, eliminating drug operations, recovering photographs, collecting VIPs, locating, collecting, or rescuing celebrities, stealing equipment, things like that. There's literally 20 other options you could do in this game. I would just recommend if you're going to do the nightclub management missions, just call up Tony because you'll consistently get either the recover supplies missions or the smashing up developer vehicle missions, which are very fast, very easy. They don't take much time at all. Not really a hassle for even a beginner player to do who has just chosen the nightclub as one of their first businesses to get in this game. Okay, what the heck is going on? We are done with the nightclub management missions. This should be the third and final one. We'll now get that $100,000, but in addition to that, we should get that black SC Ornate T. So I will showcase to you guys here in this video what that looks like if it's actually worth obtaining. So let's check our weekly challenge progress. Here we go, complete three nightclub management missions, checked off we are good to go. So there we go, I'm back here at my agency, it popped up $100,000 for the weekly challenge, plus clothing unlock, black SC ornate T. I'm heading up to my wardrobe so I can show you what it looks like. And this is what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. It is in the designer t-shirt section, the black SC ornate T. Kind of crazy, I'm not really ever gonna rock this here in game, but if you like this style, you may want to complete these nightclub management missions this week so you can unlock it. This isn't the main draw, though. It's normally just for the 100k. That's why I do the weekly challenges here. Jumping in to this week's removed vehicles, of course, we have five limited time removed and rare DLC vehicles that, of course, have been featured back into GTA Online this week. Like I said, for a limited time only. Some of them are worth picking up. Others, you could probably go without. All the ones on the left are the ones that we're gonna be talking about here. So let's get, like, I would say the most uninteresting one out of the way first. That is, of course, going to be this Western Wolfsbane right here. It actually comes in a sweet American flag livery. And of course, you can get it in like this blue frame. All of these are from Simeon's Premium Deluxe Motorsport this week. This is a motorcycle in the game that is going to offer very similar performance to the Damon. And I actually received a YouTube comment about this yesterday. But funny enough, I'm pretty sure according to other people who are replying that you can actually end up stealing the Damon off the street. But nonetheless, this is the Western Wolfsbane. It's got an average top speed of about 102 miles an hour, but it has surprisingly good acceleration. So don't write it off just yet. Of course, it's not designed for the dirt, but nonetheless, if you do bring it off-road, it actually handles 
pretty well. You can maintain control, you don't get really any wheel spin at all, so it's very minimal. And it's also versatile for escaping pursuits or if you just want to like casually cruise around the map. You're good to go right there. If you do want to buy it this week, it is going to cost you $118,939. It normally costs like $95,000, but of course, with this livery, I'm sure that's going to increase the price to that almost like $23,000 difference right there. But next up, let's talk about the Grati Stinger. This is going to be a car that costs you $850,000. This is a very high performance Grand Tourer in this game. Of course, I would say mostly inspired by the Ferrari 250 GTO. You get a nice strong speed, very good acceleration. It's a standout vehicle in the sports classics category. I would say it handles very, very well within its limits, but be cautious of the tendency for it to oversteer because it will step out on you if you're like really pushing it. It doesn't have hypercar or supercar handling or anything like that. I would say it has very decent braking, nothing super above average or below average, just, you know, average, moderate, mediocre braking, not bad at all. And I would say if you want to make the choice between the convertible or the coupe, you know, the GTO is the coupe version, so we don't even have that this week. But say if you're like, oh, I'll just wait for that one because we had both featured back a couple months ago. I would say the only difference is your style preference. They have both the same amount of handling and all that type of stuff, so you don't need to worry about that. If you don't mind the convertible version, just pick up the Stinger right now instead of waiting for the GTO, which is just the standard hardtop coupe. Next up, the Albany Alpha. This is a nice sporty vehicle. It's got a high top speed of 118 miles an hour. It's got good acceleration. This car is going to suffer from a lot of wheel spin, though, because it's got a super lightweight. It doesn't look like it would be because it's got a long wheelbase. It's based off the like the prototype Cadillac El Mirage. So you think this would be like a very bulky, heavy vehicle? It's not. It's very light. It's very nimble, but it is also rear wheel drive. And so you get that wheel spin. I would say the handling is smooth and the braking is good. It's enjoyable. Of course, casual cruising is just fine. Racing, this probably isn't the car you want to use, but, uh, you know, it's it's still close to the top it's not anywhere in the top tier but it's getting up there at the very least and like i said it is inspired by that 2013 cadillac el mirage concept prototype vehicle so for hundred fifty thousand dollars, i would say it's actually worth picking up because it is very cheap now let's talk about the canis seminole frontier this is one of my favorite suvs in the game it's super dependable it's got outstanding off-road capabilities really good durability the top speed is only modest, that's 100 miles an hour, and it only has a four-speed gearbox. It's all-wheel drive, which is great. Of course, it's inspired by that second-gen Jeep Cherokee, which I love. It excels in rock crawling, which finally we have an off-road vehicle, which is very good for rock crawling. I wish you could like lift the suspension up further, but nonetheless, you get exceptional stability on rugged terrains. When I last reviewed this vehicle, we took it up Mount Chiliad, and I was just going really slow to show you guys like the off-road capability of it. And you could take this thing either super fast up Mount Chiliad, super slow, depending on, you know, what kind of driver you are, what you want to do, if you want to be realistic or not, things like that. It's just a very solid choice for all the adventure seekers here who play GT Online and someone who wants a nice off-road vehicle. There's a lot of good customization on this truck, things like that. It will cost you $700,000 or $700,800 at Simeon's. And like I said, you can get all these vehicles at Simeon's this week. So now let's talk about the last one, the Dundreary Land Stalker XL here. This is another durable SUV. Of course, it's going to be suited more for role play than like speed, of course. The performance is just moderate. It's a massive, massive SUV. It does excel in resilience to damage, and it's actually pretty decent off-road if you want to take it off-road as well. It's inspired by that Lincoln Navigator, and you also get some elements from older Chevrolet, like Tahoe and Suburban models, things like that. Don't discount it thinking it's a total boat, though. The handling is actually pretty good. It's got a very small turning radius, so it's a little bit nimble, and it's also very maneuverable for its size and its bulky frame. I mean, you'd think this thing would be like this massive cruise ship of a vehicle, but it's honestly not. It's pretty quick as well. I have this in my nightclub garage. I like to keep a lot of my blacked out SUVs in my nightclub garage, so definitely check this one out this week. Also, if you would like to buy this one, it is going to cost you and put you back $1,244,510. Now let's quickly chat about our two free vehicles for the week. Your Lucky Wheel Podium Vehicle at the Diamond Casino and Resort is the Declassy Walton L35. It's actually a pretty fun pickup truck here in this game. It's just single cab, pretty sweet, got massive off-roading tires and wheels and raised suspension, all that. You could lower it if you want, but I'm going to keep mine stock. But 
It's been the lucky wheel trying to unlock it this week. Now let's check out the LS Car Meet. Your LS Car Meet prize ride this week is the Pegasi Tempesta. And of course your prize ride challenge, if you want to unlock it this week, you need to place top three in LS Car Meet series races for three days in a row. This is definitely a vehicle you want to try and unlock. It's got fantastic performance. It's quick, it's nimble, it's agile, great sounding exhaust. You absolutely need to unlock it for this week in GTA Online. And in my free vehicles video that I will be coming out with this weekend, I will be reviewing the performance and the customization of both this Pegasi Tempesta as well as the Declassy Walton L35. So stick around if you want to see that. Now real fast, not that these are removed vehicles, but we do have some cool limited time liveries that you can unlock for these cars. They are the test drive vehicles over here at the LS car meet. So let's start off. We do have the Emperor Vector here, which you can buy with the 029 gas livery. So definitely check that out or zero gas racing livery is really what it is with the 29 on there pretty sweet Next up we have the Karen Previan here featured with the Raga rum drifting livery So another really awesome livery you can get on this vehicle if you so choose and then we also have the Karen Karuma with the Yogarashima camo livery So this is another pretty sweet one I would say all of these are worth picking up if you want these exclusive liveries here sold this week with these cars. None of them are removed vehicles, but they are pretty sweet. I love the Emperor Vector. I love the Karen Previan. I never really have driven the standard Karuma. I always drive around the armored Karuma, but if you want this livery, get it here from the LS Carmi as the test drive vehicles this week. Another reason why this weekly event here in GTA Online is so nice in my opinion is because we actually have a claimable vehicle this week, and it is the Viser Neo. Of course, if you want to claim this vehicle, it's featured in the Gangbanger Robbery where you steal it. It is going to be featuring the Las Venturas license plate. If you want to see a video of me going through that robbery, unlocking this vehicle, stealing it, and then claiming it for myself. Let me know in the comments. But nonetheless, that is this week's claimable vehicle. Just adding to the nice reasons to log into GTA this week because finally, in a long time, we have some pretty good opportunities during this weekly event. Let's also jump into our money bonuses for this week. I will give you a nice overview and an explanation, but of course, if you tune back into the channel tomorrow, which I highly recommend, I will have my official money guide out reviewing all these, showing you how to maximize money with the nightclub this week, because this is a nightclub oriented week here in GTA Online. It's a big nightclub week. So let's jump in. The first thing is double money on the nightclub daily income, which is money that you accrue in your wall safe. As you can see, I am maxed out on $250,000. So I need to collect this right now. Normally with the wall safe, as long as you have 90 to 100% popularity, at the very minimum 90% popularity, you will get up to $50,000 deposited into your nightclub wall safe every 48 minutes. Of course, with double nightclub daily income, that will increase to $100,000. So normally five in-game days will pass and you will max out on the 250K and you won't accrue anymore. The wall safe holds a $250,000 money capacity right there. So you have to Constantly come back to the nightclub, collect your money, things like that, which I recommend you do anyway with all your properties, like the arcade, the agency, the salvage yard, even now the bail office, even though it doesn't make you a ton of money with the bail agents. But nonetheless, with the double money, that's not going to increase your capacity with the nightclub daily income. You're just going to get 100 grand. So now it'll be like two and a half in-game days. You know, not exactly because they don't split it like that. It will still be three in-game days, but you'll miss out on like the $50,000 from the third day because you're not getting 300,000. You only have the 250K capacity. So make sure you come back you know, at the very most every two in-game days, basically every 96 minutes to collect your 200K from the wall safe from your nightclub. Now, the other opportunities we actually have this week are gonna be pretty nice as well. Another one is double nightclub warehouse goods production speed, which is of course, the main attraction of the nightclub business here in GTA Online. You have all your types of goods. Normally the nightclub is gonna take you dozens of hours to fill up to the absolute max, but now you can fill up your nightclub, especially the cash creation, South American imports, and pharmaceutical research. You can max these out super fast. Normally, I think maxing them out will take you, what, probably 18 hours or something like that on average. With double the warehouse production speed, it will actually be nine hours. So you can AFK this if you want this week while you're at work or at school to keep your game on, and you can max these out and then sell them and that's super nice as well. We don't have double money on the sales this week, but this is almost like a double money bonus because you'll be able to do twice as many sales this week for your nightclub, which may actually be better for some other type of player because, you know, you don't have to play the game as long to get at least one sale in this week. Of course, the sale value isn't going to be double. What's nice about it is, like I said, two sales. The only extra work required of your part with double goods production speed bonuses on the nightclub versus double money on the sale itself is just you need to do two sales, right? But 
but you're still doing twice as many, you should be making twice as much money for the same amount of playtime. So it's another way of having a double money bonus in this game. So highly recommend you get the nightclub this week. It is 30% off, which we're going to be talking about. It's super worth it. Buy it. Do all the upgrades because, of course, you'll make all your money back with the nightclub, the equipment upgrade, the staff upgrade, security, etc. With all the amount of sales you can actually do here at the nightclub this week. So that's definitely something that you want to make sure you do this week here in GTA Online. But overall, nightclub is very, very good here in GTA Online. So we have that. And then we also have double money rp as well as double goods on the nightclub goods missions which i need to talk to you about i don't know what happened in my vehicle it must have despawned for me but if you call johan off your phone in gta you can request nightclub goods from him and it'll show you your current nightclub stock and your stock value when you request nightclub goods you're gonna go on a mission to steal nightclub goods or goods for your nightclub from like a boat or a different truck that's driving on the north end of the map you go and collect the crate at the the boat or of course collect the truck bring it back to your nightclub and now with the bonus you will get double the amount of goods which is nice the cooldown is still gonna be i forget exactly how long it is it's at least five minutes i think maybe it's actually 20 minutes but the cooldown is gonna stay the same this week but you're getting double money that you're getting paid for the mission itself it's normally only like what 10 20 thousand dollars but the advantage here is you know every hour in game do a nightclub goods mission and a nightclub goods sourcing mission that way you can actually get double the goods this week with that bonus as well and then the other bonus which isn't super impressive but it is there if you don't have any sort of business say if you want to take advantage of the nightclub this week triple money on community series jobs we also have triple rp so go to jobs go to community jobs any here this week we have some of the newer ones that are going to be triple money and triple rp i actually can't find any but supposedly the new community series jobs are triple money and rp this week but the ones you want to focus on are the nightclub oriented bonuses in this game like i said tune back into the channel tomorrow i will show you how to maximize money with the nightclub this week with these bonuses all right probably the discount section you've been waiting for finally we have a very solid business and property discount here in gta online for this weekly event i think this is going to make a lot of players happy if you've been waiting for an opportunity like this we do have all nightclub properties all the nightclub upgrades and nightclub modifications for 30 percent off this week i would definitely recommend you stick away from the two nightclubs down at the airport if you have a lot of your businesses over here on the east side of the city these are decent opportunities the la mesa one is probably going to be the most popular the one central city aren't terrible some people go out by the beach on playstation 4 i have the del perro nightclub but both of these are pretty cool Right now here on PC, most of my businesses are in the north part of Vinewood here in Los Santos. So I just go with the West Vinewood nightclub. I don't really like downtown Vinewood. I like this location probably the best, but when it comes to everything you wanna make sure, I mean, this is just cosmetic. This is cosmetic, your nightclub name, no matter what you want, dancers, things like that. When it comes to the one thing you wanna make sure you get this week, make sure you get all five floors added to your storage facility here at your nightclub and of course add three extra floors for your garage because both of these are going to be discounted here for 30 percent off take advantage of these this is responsible for making you the most amount of money you want all five floors here for your nightclub this is just so you have extra space to store vehicles so if you don't need it then you know then you don't need to get it but i think with everything players want a lot of cars in this game one of the main draws of gt online is earning all this money so you can buy a bunch of fun vehicles so make sure you add some garage space to your nightclub if you want it as well like i said in my money guide i will be showcasing you how you can make a bunch of money with the nightclub this week the other discount i wanted to talk to you guys about is 30 percent off the trufati thrax here in this game it's normally 2.325 million you can get it for 1 million six hundred twenty seven thousand five hundred dollars this week i would say the nero is overall better in my opinion especially with the bennies upgrades but the thrax is pretty fun it's got of course great handling it's just like the xa21 from last week that we talked about where like you know the top speed isn't the absolute best in the game it's still pretty quick overall but the handling is fantastic you will not lose control with the trufati thrax now one of the other opportunities we have is 30 percent off the vapid festival bus in this game i don't even know where you can get this thing i think it's on war stock i want to say but maybe not because it's not weaponized or anything oh it's in the luxury category of southern san andreas super autos that's where it is this is a 1.385 million dollar vehicle now it's going to cost you 969,500 dollars when it's 30 percent off this week there was some type of glitch where players could put their festival bus in their garage and then that was patched with the bottom dollar bounties dlc update and players are pretty upset about that i didn't even know that was a thing that that's absolutely crazy this bus isn't worth it though i guess that glitch you could do was probably the one draw you could just like show off putting the bus in a physical garage of yours but 
This is kind of a dumb vehicle. It's super slow. It tips over. If you have all like the music equipment up top with the lights and everything, it gets caught on overpasses. I would just steer clear of this vehicle. Unfortunately, that's it though. We only have two vehicle discounts. One of them is this. The Trufati Thrax is picking up and then the nightclub you absolutely need to take advantage of this week as well. I'm surprised we don't have the Mammoth Patriot stretch or like the Dundreary stretch for the nightclub this week, but nonetheless, it is what it is. Let's check out what we have at the gun van this week. Of course, if you guys are watching on Thursday, the gun van changes location locations daily but if you are watching on Thursday August 15th he's over here at the power station so let's jump in and check out his stock for the week so we can talk about it we do have the crowbar featured here the sweeper shotgun the heavy sniper rifle the advanced rifle is back again the assault rifle as well as the combat shotgun now both the combat shotgun and the sweeper shotgun are going to be 40 percent off this week the combat shotgun being 40% off is locked just to GTA Plus members, but if you are paying for that service and that subscription, don't forget about this discount because otherwise it's just sitting here unused. The sweeper shotgun is the 40% off shotgun that will apply to all players in this game, whether you are a paying GTA Plus member or not. So this is your exclusive gun van discount right here. It's really not that great, but it is kind of fun to use. It's just not that good. Don't expect it to be good like the one in GTA 4. This is like the polar opposite of that one. With all that being said, we are gonna wrap things up right here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you guys enjoyed or just found the information in this video helpful make sure to drop a like on it if you guys are new to the channel and want to see more gta 5 content like this then make sure to subscribe i greatly appreciate it also check me out over on twitch twitter and instagram for some of the best gta online live streams of course over on there i'd love to have you guys be a part of that live stream community you can follow me at hazardous hdtv and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below Again, make sure to tune back in for the money guide dropping tomorrow on the nightclub bonuses this week because, as we talked about in this video, we have some pretty solid ones. Again, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next GTA online video. Adios, amigos.